Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today I'm going to show you an awesome tool if you are doing animations in Blender. And this tool has a very strange name as we will see in just a few seconds because it's called the Godot Game Tools and it's actually got literally nothing to do with Godot right now. But it does make getting animations into Godot simpler and I'm assuming in time it's going to get more Godot related functionality. But for now what it does is makes using Mixamo animations inside of Blender 2.8x awesomely easy. And truth of the matter is getting Mixamo animations up and running in Blender used to be a bit of a pain. I did a video on it. It was a very multi-step process and getting non-linear animations going was just sort of annoying. This makes it so easy. Now, in case you've never heard of it, Mixamo was purchased by uh, Adobe uh, about, oh, three years ago, two years ago, and it's been in a weird limbo ever since. It's also been completely free ever since, which is kind of awesome, but who knows what's going to happen. But Mixamo is a giant collection of animations and then to a smaller degree character. So what you can do is you can take those characters, apply an animation to them, and you are off to the races. So that's what we're going to show you how to do today. We're going to show you how to take a character from Mixamo, uh, get several animations for them, and then get them all working inside of Blender using the Godot game tools. It's a very simple process as you're going to see in a second. Now here I have, I've logged into Mixamo. You do need to have a, um, an account with them. Um, and then just come on in here, go to uh, characters and then pick whatever character you have on your account. The cool thing is you can also upload your own character and it will automatically rig it for you or at least make the process very, very simple. So pick the character you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this character. There does seem to be a bit of a bug with the website in that the character doesn't actually update. So once you pick the new character, do a reload. Uh, this is at least in Firefox, so maybe it works better in Chrome, I don't know. But there you see, we've got the character we are going to work with. And he's actually, his default animation was the T-Pose, but we wanna get and make sure that that is the exported version. So then switch over to the animation tab and search for Topsy. All right, T-Pose, like so and apply the T-Pose animation to this guy. The T-Pose, if you don't know, is exactly what this guy is doing right here. It's a neutral uh, pose that people use for animation, and you need to do this as part of this process. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll download this guy. We'll stick with the defaults. We'll stick with FBX, skinned, no frame reduction, 30 frames per second, good with all of those settings, and then just go ahead and do a download. It's gonna take a second to get the prep, like so basically it's doing the, the work for you in the background right now. So we'll let that run. Should only take a couple more seconds. There we go. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and save that file. So we're gonna download it. Um, okay, everything's gonna go to my downloads folder. That's fine, that'll work. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and add a couple of animations. So what are we gonna add to this guy? Let's do a running animation. That's pretty common that you're gonna need. Uh, so here, we'll add this run, and there you can see the end result. And the cool thing is you can do a lot of stuff. Like I could do in place running. So if you're using it in your own algorithm, it's gonna be advancing your character. A lot of times you'll wanna do in place. You can mirror it, you can speed it up, you can change it and so on. So now we have that one applied to this guy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead with this guy. We'll do it in place. We'll download that. So we'll download that file again. And this is going to take again, what, what, what we saw before. Uh, so we'll save this file. You'll see it's called running.fbx. So go ahead and save that out. And we'll do one more animation in here just to show you multiple. So let's let's add a dance. So we're going to dance. Um, yeah, we're going to go some hip hop here. So there you see our character with some hip hop dancing going on. And let's do something a little bit more obvious. There we go. We're doing some jazz dancing. It's more like flamenco. But anyways, there we go. And we'll go with that. We'll go ahead and do a download on that one. And you'll note the file name here as well. So it's coming down as Jazz Dancing FBX. All right, so we've got our three things going on. The last thing you're gonna need is Godot Game Tools itself. Just head on over to the website. I will link this in the linked article down below. Go ahead to download now. This is donation based, so if you wanna support them, you can do so. If you, you just want the download, go ahead and just stand over here to the straight out download. So this is the guy you want right there. And you're gonna copy and download that and extract it out. When you're done extracting it, it should look something like this. And the file that you ultimately want is godogametoolspy.zip. Now what you do is with all of this stuff selected, so I'm gonna just or do a little organization here. So I'm gonna to go to my downloads folder. I'm gonna grab the three files we just got. I'll copy those, go to my desktop. We'll create a new folder called Space Marine. Marine. All right, and we'll paste all three guys 
in there. All right, so we've got our three animations, and now what we're going to want to do is merge them all together. Fire up uh, Blender. If you haven't already installed the plugin, go to Edit, and then Preferences, and you can do an add-on install right here. And then really all you need to do is go into your Downloads folder, which should be right there. Go to Game Tools once you've extracted it out right here, and then pick this guy. In my case, I should already be installed, so uh, we're good to go. And then just do a search for Godot, make sure this little check mark is there, and now we are ready to go. So now what we're going to do, so I'm, I've got a default scene open, I got my cube, just hit X, get rid of that cube, and now we're going to go File, and then we're going to do an Import. So we're going to import in that FBX file we just downloaded, and you want to start with the T-Pose one. So we're going to go here, uh, save that to my desktop right here under Space Marine, T-Pose. All right, so here we go, brought it in. Uh, you'll see there it is fully rigged. Uh, you'll actually notice it's also fully textured. So we'll let, let that guy render. There you go. So we have a nice, there, good looking thing. All right. And we've got multiple animations for it. Actually, so far we've only got the T-pose animation on this guy. So now we need to do something about that. So with the armature selected, which by the way, you can go ahead and rename, uh, Space Marine, for example. There, Armature is selected. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the N key to bring up the property windows. And you'll now notice we have Godot game tools here. And here's where the magic happens. So what we wanna do first off is select, and we'll select Space Marine like that. And now we're gonna to wanna to join the animations together. So just go join Mixamo animations, uh, browse to wherever you saved them. So in my case, Space Marine. And I'm gonna go ahead and select and control select running and jazz dance to, to blend in. So we're gonna say join those like that. And now what you'll notice is we have now drilled down down here, you got the animations, T-pose, and then you've got jazz dancing and running built in. So if we want, we can switch between and we can preview them right away. So there you go. It's that easy to bring in and handle multiple animations from Mixamo. This is by far and away the easiest workflow I have ever seen for working with Mixamo animation data. It just, it literally makes it like just a few seconds. And you'll notice there's other tools here. Um, we can rename the bones. Uh, we can uh, add another motion in. We can create nonlinear animation tracks of it. Um, or we can even rename animations. So if we want to like, you know, running or jazz dancing, let's say we wanted to call that one dance instead. Uh, so we can go ahead and call that dance and rename it. And then boom, we got a newly named animation there. And as you saw here, we can also preview the animation, although I think I might have found a bug. Yeah, I oh no, I just renamed running to dance. All right, so we now have two animations called dance. That was a little stupid, but that was on my behalf anyways. So that is it. That is the plug-on. Again, it's kind of got an interesting name because of the fact that it's um, called the Godot Game Tools. But I'm assuming once again that ultimately this is going to be a set of tools for Godot. But in the meantime, this is an amazingly powerful tool for Blender users that want to bring in and work with Mixamo animations because this just makes it so so easy. Um, and then once again, to remind you, if you are uh, dealing with your own character and you want to send them up, you can actually upload your own character and have Mixamo create a compatible rig for you. So this workflow, at least until, you know, um, Adobe goes ahead and screws up Mixamo somehow, is a very efficient workflow for rigging and uh, applying animations to characters, especially if you have very limited rigging or animating abilities yourself, like myself. So hopefully you found that useful. I know it has a slightly confusing title, but as you saw from the workflow, you can do a hell of a lot very, very quickly. And uh, kudos to the author. So once again, I will link this in the linked article down below. If you do like what he's doing here, do be sure to, to help him out there because this is a cool tool and hopefully it has a cool future. So you can see some of the things that he plans to do, add BVH adapter for in-place animations and add support for other file types. And you can see some of the capabilities of this guy. But as you saw, it's a powerful tool and I thought I should share it. All right, that's it. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.